And another great example of inertia is pulling a tablecloth out from under the dishes. And this is one of the classic examples. And you can actually do this if you do it right. So let me give you some tips here before you run off and try this. Let's imagine you have a, a tablecloth on your table. And, um, and I'll draw the, the table here. like this and let's imagine the tablecloth is hanging down like this and so this is the edge of the table okay we've got some dishes here maybe some plates some cups some silverware, maybe some food on there. Of course, you run a risk of a larger mess if you have some food on there. So, okay, here's here's um, some tips. If you want to actually do this, you can actually pull the tablecloth, and because of the inertia of the objects on the table, they can tend to stay put. And if you do it right, you can get the tablecloth out from under there fast enough and the objects move very little and you can effectively yank the tablecloth out from under there without breaking things or leaving things a mess so if you actually want to try this here's what you need to do notice how I've drawn this I've got a lot of tablecloth hanging down here but there's not much tablecloth back there so when you actually go when you when you grab the end down here and or, or actually you bunch it all up here and and yank straight this way straight uh, horizontally not a whole lot of tablecloth here, only about this much distance, maybe just a, a foot or even just a few inches, has to slide out from under the dishes. So the tablecloth then isn't in contact with the dishes for all that long. You can imagine that if you came around to this side and grabbed the tablecloth right here and pulled this way, that you would have to pull all of this length of tablecloth out from under the dishes, and that would be very hard to do. So your first tip is to set it up so that the amount of cloth you have to drag under the dishes is relatively small. In this case, just about this much cloth is going to get pulled out from under the dishes, not the entire cloth. Then how you pull it really makes a big difference. What you're going to want to do is take all this tablecloth here and, and kind of bunch it all up right here and grab hold right there. And then when you pull you want to pull straight back and obviously you need to go for speed you want to pull it, pull it as fast as you can so the speed is the first thing or actually short amount of cloth is the first thing that you have to pull under the dishes So set it up so you only have to pull a short amount of cloth under, under, under the dishes. The second thing is the speed. You need speed. If you just drag it slowly, obviously you're going to drag the entire dinner onto the floor. So don't, um, don't go slow. You want to go as fast as you possibly can. The, the third thing is don't pull up. If you yank and end up pulling upward, that's going to lift the tablecloth and lift the dishes up off the table. And they just tend to move a lot more. And obviously, if there's anything there, they tend to spill. And if the dishes go up, they tend to come back down, right, because of gravity. And so you risk have more likely odds of a breakage if, um, if you pull it up. So don't pull up. And then the other thing that people tend to do, and this is the hardest thing to do, is don't snap the tablecloth. Some people, before they pull, they move their hand up and then out like that. And that tends to lift the tablecloth up and then down sharply, and it gets this wave that propagates along the tablecloth. And that wave kicks the dishes up. And I've seen them come up a few feet off the table before with a really powerful snap. That's obviously bad, because when they go up a few feet in the air, then they come down a few feet and hit the table and break. You don't want to do that. So don't snap it. Just grab it and pull straight back as fast as you can. And the point here is obviously inertia. If you can yank the tablecloth out from under the dishes, the dishes stay put because of their inertia.